Hi folks, thanks for joining me once again. Today is a review of an RDA, the Watofu Ryujin, Ryujin, Ryujin Elder Dragon. I keep nearly saying Elder Flower, <laughs> Elder Flower, Elder Dragon. It's a 22 millimeter RDA, kind of bubbles up a bit, looks pretty funky, looks kind of Japanesey, which is a good thing because it's designed by Watofu and a Japanese reviewer. Very interesting. Let's crack on. Right then, let's not mess about. This is the box that you're Watofu. Rylan Elder Dragon. I keep wanting to say Elder Flower. <laughs> yeah, Elder Dragon RDA will come in. I like the Watofu boxes. Shows you everything on the side that is included. It's all very nicely displayed. Scratchy scratch. The colour of your device. A bit of information about Watofu and all the warnings and whatnot. A bit about a vape blog. I haven't looked into that. And social media stuff. So let's whip this out. Now, I've already had a brief look inside this box. So I'm going to fast forward this bit because this is an absolute pain to get these out. So I'm just going to speed up. Oh, flipping heck. Right, out. Okay, I'll show you the main bits in a minute. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. So fast forward if you don't fancy it. Here's your little warning card and your instructions. Upside down goes on and on and on, there's loads of it, all about how to use the RDA. You get these nice little packages, get them all out. There's your shoelace style cotton, your coils, which look pretty nice. Standard with Tofo coils, generally pretty good, and a little bag of O-rings and your standard 510 pin. Is that 510 pin? Is that a squonk pin? Squonk's pretty installed, I think. Yeah, standard pin and a couple of spare screws. In the bottom as well, you get an Allen key and a Phillips screwdriver and not a coily. But it's nice that they've included one. Okay, that's the boring stuff. Right, the bits that I've got out of the top eventually. Um, standard 810 drip tip, not with the O-rings. 510 adapter. Do the top, let's get the top out of the way. Okay. Move that out of the way so to focus on just this. So this is your barrel with the drip tip, which is quite nice. I quite like it. Like I say, this is like the gunmetal style. Nice, nice drip tip. I've tried a couple of other drip tips; they were compatible. Bit different this, kind of this curved shape rather than kind of up and over, up and across. And you can see the airflow holes. Two on each side. Bit hard to see with the dark colour. And inside, it's nicely machined. I haven't had any dirt or any grease or anything. It's all fairly clean, which is nice. And again, you've got this nice kind of cool shape through your airflow, which seems to be the thing at the minute. Right, the deck. Now the deck is kind of sunk in. It's right in the depths of this part itself. And you can see this kicks out at the bottom. So you can see where your airflow holes match up, right there. And we get a little pointy tool. So there, always where your airflow holes line up, and you can see here below it is your screws for your posts. And you can just see in there that insulator to divide the positive from the negative. Now I would say this is probably designed for single core. It is very small in there. Uh, and you can see how this airflow shoots right down from each four of these channels straight to your coil. So yeah, it's a, it's a single coil device. And obviously it's ideal for squonking. Because you could squonk all the way up to kind of, let's see if I can show you, see that line? You could squonk all the way up to that line before it's going to start going up to your airflow channels. And even if it does, it's got to go up at an angle for any juice to leak out. So it's an ideal squonking RTA. So we'll give it a little go and see how that goes. At the bottom, quite nicely done that. It looks quite smart. Yeah, looks very well nice. Nice and clean. Nothing out of place. Nothing looking nasty. Right, well, let's quickly put that on there. So you can see what the whole shebang looks like. Well, that's stiff, but it's always harder to put on, isn't it, when it's not on an RDA, not on a, on a, on a device. So yeah, the colour's tricky to kind of 
show on video because it's quite dark but it is like a gun metal it's very shiny and you've got these nice grooves in it as well so let's give a little build and we'll give a little squonk and we'll bring on top and I'll tell you my thoughts And that was the Elder Dragon RDA. I've got on top of the Pulse BF box mod. Lovely little squonker, classic, classic. Cool, come out at about 0.19. Okay, let's start, let's start with this. Styling and feel, well, styling wise, I think it looks really cool. Very oriental, very nice looking. Looks pretty sweet. Some of the other colors I've seen as well, which I'll put up here, some of the other colors look really nice. The gold, we like the flake, flaky drip tip, that looks, that looks pretty. Um, so yeah, it, it looks very good. So styling is right up there. It's very unusual, very different, but it's still very nice. Everything feels and fits together really nicely. All the drip tips in, they're nice and tight. It all pops in nice. The airflow is nice and adjustable and it stops at the point. So it all feels good. All went together real nice. Build deck. Build deck, as you can see, it's a small device, RDA, 22 millimeter, single coil really, probably meant for squonking, more than just on any old regulated mod. And the build deck is fine, really easy to build on. That video you've seen, my first uh, build on this, it was simple. A little bit of fiddly with the getting the, getting the cotton in there, because obviously you haven't got the gap, so you see I had to use a set of pliers to try and pull the other end of the cotton out, but that's not a biggie, it's just a, that's a minor con, massively minor con. Uh, with the cotton, obviously wicking, wicks nicely. On the second and third build line, I got the wicking a bit better than on that first video you've seen. Um, just kind of got a bit more of that capillary action going, so wicking straightforward enough. I, I didn't want to spend too much time showing you how to wick it because it is really simple. It is really simple, really easy. You get enough enough of a, a depth after the coils for, the, for your cotton, so it wicks really nice. Airflow, two holes either side, adjustable. I've had it fully open. You might like it down a little bit, there's not massive adjustment. It's like, it isn't like you've got the big honeycomb air slots either side. So you won't need to restrict it that much to get to get the kind of vape you're after. Maintenance. If you squonk in, it's easy enough to over squonk and it comes out of these holes. But because the airflow's angled at that that kind of angle, <laughs> then it's, it's, it's really not too bad. I haven't had any major spillage. I've had the odd because I'm not a big squonker to be honest. So again, like with any squonking RDA, it takes a bit of time to get used to how hard you need to press on that bottle. So you'll get used to it soon enough, yeah. Flavoring clouds, well, I haven't given her a little bash, have I? Just give her a little bash. For a single coil RDA, it's good, but it's not brilliant. I'm enjoying it. I've been using my usual Code Red from Dark Star. It's a good vape. It's nice flavour, but it's not. It's no game changer. It really isn't. It's uh, slightly above average at best. So it's okay. You know, it's enjoyable. It's comfortable. It's a nice vape. The airflow's nice, so it all comes together nice. And the clouds from it are brilliant. It's nice and cloudy. Get the flavour there. Just, it's just not a game changer. That's all. So what are my final thoughts on the 
Elder Dragon. If I've said Elder Flower during this video, I'm sorry, I'm not editing it. That's it. One more final thoughts. I really like it. For style alone, it just it's just something a bit different, something a bit nice. Bill's really nice, wick's really nice, the airflow's nice for me. Not too dirty and mucky and messy. It's a very tidy, tiny, short, stumpy RDA, and I think most people who get this will be pretty pleased with it. So I've, I've, I'll give it a it's like a six and a half to seven out of ten if i'm honest it's, it's, it's good just not quite there with the flavor but every other part of it is is an eight out of ten so yeah that's about it i hope this is helpful guys if it was hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it i'm flat cat vapor thank you for watching <laughs>